Brian, we've talked to you guys a lot about smaller lineups over the, the last few weeks. Um, there was times in this game when it, it seemed like maybe Frank would look down at, at one of the bigs and say, maybe we're going to veer off path here. Um, how important was it to kind of stick to something um, as a group? And I, I guess, does it feel like maybe there's an identity to be found in, in kind of the way you guys have been playing here over the stretch? Uh, well, I mean, we've been playing good basketball as of late. Even with some of the losses that we had, uh, we were still treading in the right direction. And uh, I believe we, we continue to do that tonight. Uh, we continue to uh, tread in the right direction. Obviously, um, you know, giving up 20 offensive rebounds is, 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 is a lot, a whole hell of a lot. And we have, have to do a better job of that. Um, but we did a good job um, of, you know, we only gave a one point per office rebound, which is really good. They had 20 second chance points off 20 offensive rebounds. So we were at least making an effort to get back out when they were getting their rebounds or, or for the most part, getting stops. Um, so that's good. I mean, I'll keep going. If it's, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, no, no. I mean, I mean, I think, uh, you know, one of the things there was, was Nas Reed. Um, first three quarters, I think, had all 23 of his points. You, you kind of switched out on him in the fourth. Um, is that going to be something that is just kind of a pick, pick a time? Because you're also doing so much on offense right now. Um, are you going to be able on a nightly basis, you know, until AD gets back to, to take on those kinds of defensive challenges while also doing what you're doing on offense? Uh, I believe so. Um, obviously, that has always been like uh, part of my um, – Objective, I guess, um, or, or part of who I am as a basketball player to be able to take on matchups um, that um, that helps our ball club. And you know, um, you know, we were extremely balanced offensively tonight. Um, you know, we got a, obviously a huge push from Melo off the bench, but uh, Leak has been um, amazing since he's been been back from the from protocol and been in a starting lineup. Um, you know, and you know, Avery was great with the shooting ability, also his back cuts and. Um, he was a spectacular from offensive end, so it gave me an opportunity to, um, you know, even with some of the scoring I was doing, I was still able to focus more on the defensive side tonight and uh, and just take the challenge, which I was able to do late in the game. Yeah. LeBron, Russ has told us time and again that, you know, turnovers, you know, will be part of his game and that his you know, game isn't predicated on makes and misses. But what did you see from him tonight when, you know, obviously the turnovers are high, you know, some of the other stats we're used to from him aren't there. Um, what other ways was he impacting the game that you saw that aren't on that sheet of paper? Um, I mean, just his, his presence, obviously. His presence on the floor helps us. Um, obviously, he was kicking himself um, a lot tonight with his turnover, especially in the first half. Cleaned up in the second half. He only had two in the second half. And it resulted in us being able to, to get shots. You know, when we get shots, we're a really good team, which has really hurt us this year is when we turn the ball over a lot. And we're not able to set our defense where we're really good in the half court um, and teams run out on us. So um, us being able to take care of the ball in the second half um, was uh, key to us getting this win tonight. Um, and the ball is in his hands a lot, in the ball in my hands. Uh, the ball is in my hands a lot. So and it starts with us too being able to just take care of the ball in the second half. We did that. Brian, what's impressed you the most about the evolution of your friend Carmelo Anthony? being someone that's coming off the bench after these 19 years of being this great player that started? Uh, he's just have a sense of, um, I guess, he just know who he is. Um, he know he is not trying to be anything that others may think he should be or how he viewed himself in the past. He's a true definition of an in-the-moment person. And he just has a sense of calm and just like, this is who I am and this is how it's going to go. Um, aura about him. And it's always just, it's just a, it's a breath of fresh air to be around every day. Never, this guy never gets too high, never gets too low. Or he's never going to show you that, um, even if he does. But... Um, he just know what he what he means to this ball club. He knows what he means to this game at this point in his career, and he's accepted um, who he is, and and he's still great at it. And you know, I'm happy to say that I finally get an opportunity to team up with him uh, for a full season. Um, if you take away the Olympics, LeBron, have you guys had a nine? Excuse me, you had a nine man rotation tonight, and basically half the guys 
when you started the year were either not on the team, not in the league, uh, or hurt. Uh, what's it been like to have to adapt to different lineups? And is that adaptability something that could be a strength as you guys move forward because you've picked it up? Well, I've always talked about when you guys ask me about, okay, how can we ever judge this team? I say, well, we don't have enough log minutes. We don't have enough bodies. We don't know what we want to become. Um, over the last few games, if you take away the Memphis game when we started Dwight, we've had the same starting lineup. That helps one. We're starting to get a sense of identity of that, that group on the floor. And then with Taylor coming in as the first sub, and then Melo coming in, and then Austin coming in, we have a good sense. And now Trev is now back. We have a good sense of how the rotation is going to be. Guys know when they're coming in. Guys know when they, you know, they're coming out. So that helps. Obviously, every game is going to have its own challenges and things of that nature, depending on who we're playing. But as of late, we've been able to have that same kind of you know, rotation, that same log minutes with guys out on the floor. And that, that def, it just builds chemistry and it builds uh, things that you can't, can't really uh, simulate unless it's actually happening in real time. So I think that's helped our ball club. LeBron, um, you know, the last couple of years of Avery's career, he, both his stints with the Lakers kind of really stand out in terms of his efficiency and, and how he's helped you guys win. I'm wondering what has he done here that makes him blend so well and how much is tied to the chemistry you two have, which seem to kind of stand out in, late in this game? Um, well, what he built his hat on his whole career is the defensive side of the ball. And that's what we are as a group. That's what Coach Vogel is. That's what our, that's what our team hang our hats on. So it's an immediate fit. That's, that's one. And he doesn't do anything that he's not capable of doing. He knows exactly, you know, how to make his mark on an offensive end um, around guys that handle the ball, guys that attract a lot of double teams, guys that attract a lot of eyes. He knows how to be effective on the offensive end. And like you said, over the stints that we've had him in a, in a uniform, he's been extremely well, uh, played extremely well for us. And, uh, you know, when he's on the floor, he's just, uh, he just makes plays, both on both sides of the floor. Hey, uh, you spoke to building chemistry um, in these lineups with you at the five. Uh, what do you think you can carry over from that when uh, AD gets healthy? Um, I mean, that's only time will tell, to be honest. Um, AD is a, a, a easy puzzle piece to fit in. So <laughs> I'm not quite worried about what we do when AD comes back. You know, you place AD on the floor, AD is a top five top ten player in our league so we become a, a better team right away um, the good thing that coach Vogel and the coaching staff know and that we know we know we have lineups where that's very good he knows that he can go to uh, a smaller lineup of AD um, or when AD comes out of the game he knows he can go to myself and Melo at the four and five um, you know so it, to have that in your back pocket I think it benefits our, our, our club and uh, you know but I'll be happy when 80 get back I tell you that.